Hey Aquarius, it's Empress Rose here. Welcome to your reading. These are general readings. We take what works, we leave what doesn't, as with everything in life. And if I don't catch a wavelength or storyline on this reading, go check your other major placements. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Um, and if you haven't already, please do hit that subscribe button. It helps other people find my channel. Oh. Um, anything else here for Aquarius? No, it feels... Oh! Oh, darn it. <laughs> oh, I asked and it answered. Um, so, and then we're going to move on to the, uh, Pamela Coleman Smith's um, Rider Waite Smith deck for a more traditional tarot spread. So, oh my goodness. I have really stepped in it this time. Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. <sighs> okay. All right. First, we have meditate and contemplate new moon in Pisces. So emotions um, kind of needing to balance things out a little bit, thinking things through, feeling things through, thinking things through, feeling things through. We're, we're managing both of these. We're balancing them out, thinking and feeling as we head forward. Um, we're headed someplace really cool. We've got a uh, look at the bigger picture, full moon in Sagittarius. This may, th may mean that one or two things um, aren't going to work out quite the way you had thought they would or what, the way you had planned. Um, but look at the overall gist of where we're going, the overall direction, the overall trajectory of the situation. It seems pretty good, um, even though one or two things may not be exactly as you planned or the, quite the way you thought they were going to be. Uh, the energy is gaining momentum. So we're headed somewhere. We're headed somewhere and uh, we have direction, right? We have direction and we're headed somewhere and things are, things are moving. Um, just not some of the details may be a little rougher than what we wanted them to be, but things are moving. We're moving forward. We're moving ahead with something. Um, and then expect powerful change. So something's shifting here. The energy is shifting. This is new moon eclipse. We've got something, something, uh, we're gaining momentum on something, but there's going to be a powerful shift in, uh, in the way that that thing manifests in the way that it comes into us in the way that we view it. So I could see this meditate and contemplate card as being like able, able to, to handle these shifts, these smaller shifts and these movements through meditation, through thinking things through while also feeling things through and balancing those two things out, the mind and the heart, making sure that they're well connected and they're communicating clearly with each other. Um, there might be some hiccups here. I see a lot of hiccups here actually, uh, but there's going to be some shifts and some changes. Um, but you, you're headed somewhere, but there's a lot of shifts and changes here. We also have... Um, we also have conclusions are within reach. So some things ending, some things coming to a conclusion, uh, any sort of communication you've been waiting on is coming in here. It may not be precisely what you want, but it is, um, it is going to be, at least you'll know now, right? At least you'll have some information. It will change the dynamic. The whatever is being concluded and decided will change the dynamic that you're looking at. Um, adjustments are required. Uh, this means this could mean two things to me: getting used to something, getting used to a new idea, a new way of doing something, or your expectations need to be adjusted, or the way you're interacting with something is going to need to be adjusted. Again, I'm seeing like minor. Minor adjustments needed because we're looking at the overall picture. So who gives a shit if you've got to minorly adjust your schedule a little bit or adjust something else? Like overall, you're headed in the direction you want to be headed in. Uh, there, but there, there are going to be, and there is like a bigger shift coming. So there's all these little sort of detail shifts and, and you need to make some adjustments and understand some things and, and clarify some things and, um, in order to, to accommodate this powerful change. So the powerful change is coming. We're keeping our eye on the prize, the bigger picture. Um, and the, we're getting there, but on our way there, we're going to need to be making sure we we're connecting our mind and our, our heart and making sure those two things are communicating well. We're going to have to make some adjustments, uh, maybe some tweaks to a few things. Uh, answers are coming though. And then we have, North node, step out of your comfort zone. So some way that you've always done thing, something, and this is probably the adjustment that's required here. Some way that you've always done something, 
you might have to do it a little different this time. You might have to step out of your comfort zone, do something a little bit that you didn't, you weren't planning on doing, or you've not done it this way in the past, experimenting with new ways to do things, new ways to interact with situations in your life. Um, do some exploring. South, South node, North node work is really fascinating to me. Um, I found it in my astrological chart. I found it very, um, empowering and informative and explaining a lot of things. So, um, and it always reminds me that we've each got different trajectories in our lives and different things that overall our story arc, like, uh, like Zuko's story arc, um, my favorite story arc, I think of all time and, uh, in the last airbender series. Um, and, and just that, like, we've all got different lessons to learn and we've all got our own little unique story arc. So advice that might apply to some people or, you know, some people, um, have learned a lot in their lives and had to change a lot and make a lot of adjustments and a lot of changes. Um, and then they'll feel like, this is what everybody needs to know. This is, these are the adjustments and changes everybody needs to know, but that's not true. It was very unique to them. And so honoring our unique journey and the unique lessons that we have. And, and that involves honoring the fact that, uh, advice is not one size fits all. So, um, because we've all got unique, someone may be headed this way while another person's headed this way and they need to learn opposite lessons. So they shouldn't, the advice should not be mixing. So I love North Node. I love the uniqueness of your journey. And I love these sort of shifts of like, what if I interacted with this type of situation in a different way? Um, what if I, what if I moved something around? I mean, you're keeping your eye on the prize, but it's going to change things as you step out of your comfort zone and try something else or um or or just do something you've never done before allow yourself to be uncomfortable in that it is going to change things you are headed where you need to go but it looks like you might need to make some adjustments you might need to change your expectations or the way you interact with the situation um but you know overall you're headed where you want to go so don't worry about some of these little like um little adjustments but they're oh, little adjustments make powerful changes sometimes so keeping that in mind all right aquarius this is your past your present your inner landscape what's at issue your environment your to-do list and your possible outcome we've got another little match set here your little cutie pies we've got um a little salt and pepper shaker i like it but we'll see what the message is oh wow capricorn just got this card in the same position and that card Fascinating. Very fascinating. In your uh, recent past, we have the emperor. We have control. Uh, the emperor always raises questions about control, divine rights to rule, um, someone with some possibly some control issues or who's in charge and who's in control of the situation. And um, you, it might not be you. It might have been you. You might have had a lot of say and a lot of control, but it might not have been you. You might have had to do things someone else's way for a while. Uh, someone else is making decisions and um, and had a lot of control and a lot of power in this situation. Um, why do I see little mice from the nutcracker here? I don't know, but, um, but they had, they had, uh, this, this can be an energy that you were interacting with. It's not a court card. It's a, um, you know, it's a major arcana. So there's a lot of power and self empowerment. That's the, are the main gist is a, a place of someone else being power or having to deal with a power structure or having to deal with sort of concepts of power and control and having to deal with that in your past. Uh, might have, um, yeah, some sort of issues surrounding that power, surrounding that control and surrounding a right to control. Who has a right to say this? Who has a right to do this? Who has a right to control this situation? And there may have been some struggles around that. Um, in your current situation, you have the Empress. See, we have the Emperor and the Empress. I like how the Empress comes first numerically in this deck. Um, but we have the, uh, we have the Empress card here. Um, this is um, Earth Mother. This is abundance, dealing with your own abundance, dealing with concepts of abundance. Is there enough? Am I enough? Uh, do I have what it takes? So that's a little bit of what we're dealing with, with it when this Empress card comes up. Um, there, there, you are sitting on a throne there is an abundance here. You're comfortable. There's a sense of security. There's a sense of being able to not only provide for yourself, but also provide for others, uh, a sense of self empowerment. This emperor wants to control others, wants to control the entire, you know, four kingdoms. Um, 
and this is <laughs> this is the fire lord here um so and uh and here we have the empress this is um someone who just needs to control themselves their own environment they're in charge of their own environment they're comfortable they um they have enough and they're they're feeling very much like there is plenty there's enough i am enough there's uh, a sense of a sense of abundance here this is our abundance living in abundance making choices and decisions out of a sense of abundance uh out of a sense of of having enough and being enough and being good enough uh so right now you're you're might, you might be experiencing some successes or some some understanding that you can experience successes so that, that just because your past hasn't been successful just be or or perhaps it has been but i'm seeing the north node i'm trying to bring in the north node concept here is um is maybe in the past you were subject to someone else's rule, someone else's rules, um, and now you're stepping out of that and into a place of, um, you know, step out of your comfort zone. Maybe your comfort zone was someone else making the big decision, someone else deciding things and being in charge. And maybe that wasn't necessarily comfortable, but that's what you were used to. That's what you knew. And now there's a sense of, well, what if I am enough? What if I um, ha can do my own thing? What if I can be in charge here? What if I can make Make, the, make my life work um, what if I can um, what if I can create opportunities for myself and for people that depend on me so there's a sense of empowerment and abundance and there's plenty there's a lot of um, opportunity feeling like there's a lot of opportunity and a lot of possibility and then in following that um, lots of possibility we have the full card we've got a whole row of major arcana up here uh, we've got the full card um, wanting to take a new beginning wanting to strike out uh, yes there's dangers yes there's the weather isn't always great there's precipices we're standing out on this precipice here we're um, ready to take a leap of faith we're wanting to take a leap of faith we're wanting maybe a new beginning to come in here um, a new opportunity to come in to change our lives to change something I mean these are major arcana the emperor the empress the fool we've got you know past control issues control situations we've got centered now in our own empowerment in our own abundance and now we're ready to take that forward into the world and we're looking for opportunities to to leap forward we want to take a leap we want to jump forward into the future we feel ready we feel prepared the fool typically he's got the just this tiny little satchel he's poorly prepared oh what's that cartoonist he's like like the little aliens um that talk like um in very specific uh synonyms for everything anyway it's it's really cute anyway wildly unprepared for the day is one of his little um things i think his name is nathan i'm not sure wildly unprepared for the day this is typically our fool except for we're coming into this fool energy from this empress energy so we're not quite feeling wildly unprepared we're feeling like we can handle this we're feeling like we could handle a leap forward we could handle moving forward we could handle we can handle the next adventure we have what it takes we have uh packed bags possibly better than what the fool typically is seen as um and we have everything we need in those bags and we're feeling ready we're feeling adventuresome maybe a little bit of spring fever here feeling ready to go feeling ready to take a leap of faith um and this is really cool too especially with this empress in the upright we've got this empress in your current moment here um the the card of the moment the energy of the moment of abundance and this is showing up again here in what's at issue here and i just saw three 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 so if any of you like numerology stuff, that, there we go. So we've got a five of pentacles in the river. So coming out of a period of lack, a lack mentality, a period of poverty, a period of feeling left out or not enough or like nothing was working out, a period of, um, you know, catast cascading catastrophes that, that left you homeless or nearly so um, or, or felt, felt like you might be. Um, walking by people that have enough, have being surrounded by people that have plenty, by opportunities, but none of them happen to be for you. Everybody else got the opportunities, but not you. And so we're coming out of that period. Um, I really like this. Expect powerful change. With this Empress in the upright and this in the reverse, this Five of Pentacles, 
cycles and the reverse. This is really powerful change. Um, your comfort zone, leaving your comfort zone. You might be used to uh, feeling a lack, used to feeling like there's not enough or that things don't work out for you. Um, but you're coming out of that first mentally and then possibly physically, but you're coming out of this, uh, this, this time period here. Um, in your environment, what's going on around you? Knight of Swords, lots of communication coming in fast lots of clarity there's a charging forward with the full energy i almost want to put some breaks on these two uh these two characters in this reading together make me a little nervous actually but this is this is something in your life something external to you leaps forward charges forward there's communication there's movement there's um there's there's some bravery there's it's all of a sudden almost there's this quick fast movement of new ideas new communication even the horse is like you sure about this sir i'm not sure we should be going this fast i don't even know where i'm going but uh but there's there's some fast movement coming into your environment we've had this stodgy controlling behavior um and then all of a sudden underneath that we come in with this like movement boom going here we go here we go moving fast so that's in your environment something in your environment's moving very quickly there could be information actual movement you could be actually moving um something's actually moving here it's very quickly coming in uh there's a sword there's communication there's a little bit of a frightening speed here a breakneck speed that something in your life is moving at at sort of a breakneck speed your to-do list, the um, the area of greatest growth, your your best possibility or the energy you need to interact with, holding on to your intuition and uh, standing your ground. So there may be naysayers, there may be people that are challenging you, people that um, want what you have, people that are jealous, people that are coming in to attack you. You're the king of the mountain right now. I see you under this Empress card, having, having abundance, having something. And then here we're having people that don't want you to have that. And you, you gotta stand your ground. You gotta say like, you know what? I, I live in abundance now. I, I am enough. So these people are coming in trying to tear you down. I mean, that's literally what's going on. You're king of the mountain. And these people coming in trying to tear you down, trying to challenge you, knock you off your um, the height that you are at here. Um, but you have the advantage. You have the moral high ground. You have the high ground here. So just defending your position, defending your high ground, defending your... It could be worthiness. There could be some challenges to are you worthy? And you're sitting on this throne. You are. You know it. And you're going to have to defend it so looking for opportunities or looking for that moment when oh you'll know it you'll be like oh this is when i have to stand up for myself this is when i have to defend myself this is when i have to push back against some sort of naysayer someone that wants to take what i've gained someone that wants to tear me down it's time to stand up and defend yourself so to be feel free to defend yourself uh we don't always have to you know sometimes um, discretion is the, the, what is it? The better part of valor or something like that. Sometimes, you know, it's just better to be like, you know what? Not this battle. I'm not fighting this battle. This is, this is the battle that you fight. This is the, this is something that you stand up for. And maybe you don't necessarily engage, but you definitely stand your ground. You don't give in. You don't go down to their level. You don't sink to someone else's level. You stand your ground because that you've gained that ground. That's your ground. That's your higher place. That's your high road. So you don't let anyone drag you down to their level because you're enough and you have plenty. And so when, when, uh, there might be some jealous naysayers or some, some tricky issues here, uh, stand your ground. You've earned it. You've, you've built this, you've gotten here where you're at, um, and defend yourself. Feel free to defend yourself if, if, if need be, and at least carry yourself in a way or, or be prepared to do that. Even if you don't end up having to use that, uh, that this, this, this weapon, but you do it, you do have, you do know, you know, something, uh, you know, you deserve where you're at. Um, so, so push back, feel free to push back. You might not need that, um, need to do it, uh, or need to really engage all that much with it, but just, uh, the willingness to do that and, and understanding that you have a right to, to push back and you have a right to where you're at. Um, is 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 going to be helpful for you where you're going queen of swords Whew, this can be a little bit of a bitchy energy but i also really love this energy queens are about our inner landscape our inner um yeah our inner landscape 
uh, they're the, the universe within. This queen knows ex the swords are thoughts and communication. This queen knows exactly what she thinks, exactly what she wants. She's going to talk about it. She's going to say what she thinks. She's going to say what she wants. She's very focused on her role here, on who she is, on how her mind works, on what she thinks. So this is combined with this. This is a bit of like stand your ground and say what you think. Say what's on your mind. You have a right to communicate this. Uh, you don't have to take in everybody's feelings and uh, make sure everybody feels comfortable and everyone around you feels comfortable. Just say what's on your mind. Just say who, what you think, what your perspective is. Don't worry about other people. Other people are going to be doing their own thing. But see, I feel like she's like, she is this guy. Like this guy's defending himself and she's just very clearly, um, this is what I think. And she's very clear about it. Clear communication. She's not going to pussyfoot around. She's not softening things, uh, softening her blows for all of these people that want to tear her down, bring her back into this energy. She's coming out of that energy. And don't you, don't you try to, um, try to drag her back down there. So this is, she can be a little bit bitchy, but, but maybe she's not in the upright here. She's just clear. She's just clearly communicating and she's not going to take your shit. So, um, and she's going to speak her mind. What's on her mind? She has a right to her thoughts. She has a right to her, what she wants to say. So she's going to be, um, this is, this is you, or this could be someone that you're going to be interacting with. That's going to be very direct and very forthright with you combined with this Knight of swords energy coming in here. So, um, so this is somebody here, either you entering this uh, queen of swords energy or somebody else, um, approaching you and they're just going to be direct. Um, I don't feel like it's going to be mean. The intent is not mean, uh, as far as where you're going, this might be this, this energy right here could be, but this is just more like super direct. Um, and you can sometimes be, we can be thankful for that, that communication that comes in without any ambiguity, unambiguous communication about what someone thinks and, uh, and, and what they want. It's their perspective. If you're com the one communicating, it's your perspective. It's not the global truth. It's your truth. Um, if they're communicating, it's their truth, not the global, like ultimate, uh, expression of, as of truth. Uh, with a capital T. All right, Aquarius, I hope that that was helpful for you. Um, thank you for your likes, subscribes, and comments. And if you haven't figured it out already, I am going to every other week here. So I'll see you in a fortnight.